Hey you guys, what's Gucci? It's your boy, it's your K-Dot back here with another video. Man, your boy K-Dot was in the little underground world, a little anime and stuff, doing his little thing, yeah. Your boy K-Dot gonna try and bring back this anime content. I, so I, I was watching the first episode of Oh You're On High School Host Club. So far, so good, I like it. So far, so good, it's looking, you know, funny and, you know, a little charismatic and stuff, little male characters, and you got to meet male, the lead female character, bruh. The lead female character got some small, got some, she, she's small, bro. She's, she's petite. Um, but look, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this trailer for you guys. This is for Pokemon, uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back. So this is a remake. I guess this is a remake from the, uh, looks like a remake, but we're gonna go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and check this out and see what's up. But this is Pokemon, Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. But we're going to go ahead and check it out. Follow your boy on uh, Twitter. Follow your boy on Instagram. Let's go ahead and let's get into this. Let me give you all that content. It's 30 seconds Japan in Japanese dialogue. We're going to go ahead and uh, check this out. And then I'm going to talk about it. And we'll read this article after about it. Because it's part of... I found this in the article. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I, was, I was almost about to hit the stop recording button, bro. Let's go. <laughs> that 3D animation. Last ways. You too. You too. Whoa, what the freak? Is this a game or something? This look they look like this is like a video game cutscene. I don't know about this animation, bro. It looks kind of... Dang, look at Brock. It looks cool, though. It looks cool. It looks like a cutscene for a video game. It doesn't look like a movie. Like, something you... Would, this type of animation, you would prefer to go for a movie. But, hey, I'm down with it. Man, look at Psyduck, bro. Crazy ass. Look at freaking Psyduck. Psyduck. Psyduck is always having those freaking issues with his head and shit, man. Psyduck always going through it, bro. Them headaches. <laughs> All the side of be looking so sad. 712. Hey, it looks pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. That don't look that bad. That don't look that bad. Let's go ahead and look at this article, though. We gotta read this article. I got a video for you guys that's about to go up regarding rotten tomatoes, but we are here for this video. <sighs> Dang, my nose. It's. Let's read this article. The freak is going on outside, bro. Dang. The trailer for Pokemon's first CG movie looks nothing like the anime you remember. <laughs> yeah. Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. Ain't your daddy's Pokemon movie? All right. Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution is the next film in the franchise, and with it comes a new era for the Pokemon anime. Ash, Misty, Brock, Pikachu, and everyone else we remember from way back when we when are stepping into a third computer-generated dimension, and they look very weird. Yes, they do. A 30-second teaser for the upcoming movie, which premieres in Japan this summer, is here for the rest of us to gaze at in equal parts horror, equal parts regret. For Lo, this is not our beautiful Pokemon anime. Instead, the video suggests a remake of Pokemon, the first movie released in 1999, which shows Me Too's origin story and also features Ash dying for a hot second. <laughs> Bruh, when Ash died in that movie, all the Pokemon were crying. For this 20th anniversary redux, the Pokemon company has gone with a slick animation style that turns our cartoony friends into talking dolls. Hey, they, they kind of do. Misty looking. Dang, she's a dang Misty young. Fuck. She animated. It don't matter. Dang. Look. We all know we would smash... We, we all know we wanted to smash Misty, bruh. And Misty is just as old as all of us, bruh. And she's animated, so it don't matter, bruh. She's not real. Nobody said I couldn't imagine stuff, though. Perhaps I'm being too harsh on what's really just a brief, quick, cutting look at this movie. The Pokemon we see in it, for instance, look really good. There's some nice texturing to them. Certainly preferable to the dramatically released real realistic textures in Detective Pikachu. The background environments are nice too, but I can't shake the feeling that there is something very wrong with the human cast here. 
I mean, <laughs> Jump Force looking ass. I mean, the uh, Mutual Strikes Back Evolution is in Japanese theaters on July 12th. No Western release has been confirmed yet. Damn, lucky ass. Well, that's what happens. So we won't pretend to begin this film, but we checked it out, and uh, it makes sense, you guys. Anime was developed in Japan. The Japanese are catered to first before us. That's just how it is. If an American product is made in America, it should be catered to us first. And then the outside world. That's just how I believe it should go. Same thing for Dragon Ball Z. Remember when uh, people probably expected Gohan to be taken over in the Buu Saga? Nah. Japan wanted Goku to be the main protagonist. And reason being, the Japanese are the original fan base. They're, they're the first fan base that gets that love. We're we're just we're outsiders, bro. We're outsiders. But they're that main people that get that that get that luxury before us. That's just how it works. They're there in Japan, man. The Japanese been looking out for each other first before us. So you know we like the product, but still, the Japanese want to cater to the Japanese first and then us second. So you it's just you got to deal with it. Same thing here in America. Sometimes we can't help other people and we got to cater to our people first. But usually that's not the case no more. We got to cater to everybody freaking else. But look, I like it. I mean, it doesn't look bad. For one way or another, we're we, we, we going to see this, bro. Somebody's going to release this on some Kiss Anime or something. Somebody's going to release this. Because this does not look bad. I mean, I'm kind of down for it. I'm low-key down for it. I'm down to see it. I'm down to check it out when we can watch it for uh, free. I'm down to watch it. Totally down for it. I think it looks good. It's just the CG threw me off, but I think I can get used to it. I can get used to it. Kind of looks like video, good video game CG cutscenes, but nonetheless, it's not bad. I like it. I like it. I think it will be a good addition. I think it will be a good addition. I think it's going to be lit. I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be tight. I hope you guys, uh, you, I need you guys to share this video too. I don't think a lot of people are talking about this, but it could be legit. It could be It could be legit. Yes, the CG it looks a bit funny, but it looks it like some good CG. Like, this is what I'm talking about with um, American um, films. If they wanted to adapt, like, you, you can do films like these. You can do a Dragon Ball film like this. You can do a Dragon Ball film like these. Look at these. Look at the textures and stuff. Look at the backgrounds. Look at the backgrounds and textures, man. These look good. It do. We can't sit here and lie that this don't look good. It looks good. It do. Look at it. It's going to be a bit trippy, but it, it looks good regardless, yo. Because I, I sometimes like watching CG films like uh, Final Fantasy XV Kings Labor, Final Fantasy Advent Children. Those are good CG films. And they're all CG. That's all you can do most films. It, 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 C, C, CG, as like full CG films aren't bad. They're good films. I think it could be done. I think, look, it looks cool. Look at that. You got, let's go back. They look good. Uh, Blastoise. Bulk, uh, v, fuck, what's that bastard's name? No, it's not Venusaur. Not Bulbasaur. What's... Uh, no. It's Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, then Venusaur. Venusaur. I got gotcha. you. Charizard. Mewtwo. Look, it's freezing. It looks cool, man. I, it looks cool. Ash... Ash looks, hey, look at them, man. They look dope. Dang, look at Misty, though, bro. Dang, this is looking good. Look, man, don't act like y'all wouldn't have wanted to. Look, we all wanted to smash Misty when we was young. We all we all looked at her that way. So get the freak out of here, bro. I know some of y'all got seen some pictures of Misty and some provocative fan, f fan pictures and wanted to do something to her. So don't get up in here getting on me for checking out Misty. When y'all out here doing the same shit as me. Y'all know when y'all was young, y'all wanted some of that Misty. Don't act like you don't want some of that Misty. Just how some of y'all wanted some of that Rouge the Bat. 
Because y'all saw them. Booms. Y'all saw them. Don't lie. Don't lie that you didn't think about nothing like that. Don't lie. Be real. Be honest. I ain't finna get on you. She's animated anyways. She ain't real. It's only messed up when you actually commit the act. It's messed up. And Pokemon ages don't count because at this nigga Ash been 10 forever. This motherfucker hasn't aged once. So these ages don't count. These niggas are immortal somehow. So technically, Misty is old as hell now. She's old as hell now. Misty is old as hell now. She's old as hell. She's old as hell. And ready to... Mm. She's old. Because this nigga Ash right here has been 10 forever. When is he going to age, bro? Ugh, he's been 10 forever. I'm going to go in this video. There's your boy Kid Out. The first black super saint where I'm trying to go check this. Peace, love, positivity, and all that jazz. Deuces.